Case Keenum's first pass as a Bronco. Incomplete. We're playing against the Seattle Seahawks. All right, Royce Freeman, sensational rookie, running back. What can he do? Boom. Boom, boom. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right, Royce. Come on, Case. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boom. Boom. Oh, come on. That's the first touchdown? No, it wasn't a score, but it was um, first down. See that pass, guys? Third and six. Yeah. Oh, the real reason I watch football is defense. Here goes Chubb and Von Miller. First time playing together. Gonna be nasty. Get him! Third and 16. Defense. Chubb and Miller. Mm. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, baby! Philip Lindsay with the first touchdown! He's a Colorado native! He's a Colorado native! Philip Lindsay! Woo! Wearing number 30. Terrell Davis' is old number. Oh, my goodness. Halftime. Asparagus, oh, delectable. Go Broncos! Yeah! Yeah, go Broncos! Go Broncos! We're winning. Fourth quarter, three minutes left. Come on now, Broncos. Get him! Mm. 22 seconds. 11 seconds. I'm kind of walking around aimlessly outside trying to figure out what to pick up, what to clean up, and I just got to go to bed. I got to go to bed. I didn't sleep well last night, so I got to go to bed. But before I go to bed, quick story. I am a long distance runner, and you may think that that does not coincide or dovetail with football. Well, in fact, it does. It does. And I'll tell you why. Because when I was in high school running cross country, my respect for football and football players went way, way up because my football, my high school's head coach would basically the entire football team, varsity, JV, freshman football teams would jog probably like a mile and a half from the high school where they practiced down to the cross country course every single year on at the home cross country meet. You know, because at a football game, you know, we probably had... I don't know, we probably had like seven, oh, we maybe had a thousand people at our football games at a small town, maybe 800. Like it was, we, we loved our sports in Buena Vista, Colorado. But at the cross country meets, you know, maybe there's 200 people at the most. So the football coach would require, now it was required, but still they showed up and they would jog down to the cross country course and cheer on uh, all the runners cheer us on and it was like as a young like runner who you know you're like you're a little out of place in cross country because you're not doing football or golf or basketball I don't know it's just like not your most typical high school sport it made you feel good it made you feel good so I am forever a football fan in part because of that thank you Mr. Markin thank you Mr. Markin all right folks uh, we're going to bed soon but first gonna pass it off to true love for a little walk down memory lane. Speaking of high school, true love, take it away. I am so interested. He said that he saw a yearbook in here from 2002, which is mine, and I thought that was gone, long gone. Anyway, I'm really excited to find it. And also just see what else is in here. He said there was some stuff of mine. Oh my gosh! Oh, well, there's his. Ooh, you had yours engraved. He had his yearbooks engraved with his name. Whoa, fancy, honey. Wow! Oh, I did too! I had one engraved. Well, that one anyway. Oh my gosh. What year was this? Yeah, this is my senior year, right? That's so fun. I wonder... Golf. I can't believe our small school had golf. 22. Oh my gosh! There's all these pictures since this is our senior year of when we were like elementary kids. 
my gosh, I wonder where, I don't have Facebook, so I don't exactly know where a lot of my people are. This is so fun to go back, and I certainly haven't looked at this. I mean, I feel like since we got married or as we put stuff in, and I think oftentimes I'm much more apt to like, see ya, pitch it, pitch it, don't need this, unless it's like moved my heart completely. I don't ever need to see it again. Um, but it is fun to kind of look look back in some of this stuff. And I, there was this little bag of turtles. Oh, here it is. And oh my gosh, it just, when I went, when Seth and I were first dating, I went to Mexico for a mission trip and he brought me to the airport. And anyway, I bought him this as like, <laughs> you know, like a little gift to be like, I couldn't stop thinking about you the whole time I was there. Here, I got you a turtle. But then we started getting each other little turtles on different trips we took before we were married. It's like, I kind of forgot about that because now, of course, we do stuff together. So anyway, it's a, it was a lot of fun. So I, I vote yes to memory chests. Wow. But okay. Impressive.